so happy to be here today to talk with you about the Wings for Autism program, how it came to be, and the huge impact that it's had on my family. Um, like you mentioned, the Wings for Autism program is a wonderful program that provides opportunities for individuals with autism and their families to practice the entire airport experience, including boarding a plane. And it also provides training to airport staff. This program was developed by Jennifer Ryan at the Charles River Center in coordination with um, Boston Logan's Airport in response to a very stress stressful experience that my family had while attempting to fly with our two sons to Disney World. My younger son, Henry, has autism, so as you can imagine, we did everything we could think of to help prepare him for the trip, and we thought we had it all figured out, but when we arrived at the airport, Henry was set off by a ride in a glass elevator, and he was completely panicked. We did our best to calm him down. Unfortunately, his anxiety grew, and, and um, as we boarded the plane, he was kicking and screaming. It soon became clear that this trip would not go as we had planned. We made the quick and painful decision that I would get off the plane with Henry while my husband and older son Jack would go on to Disney World. And as Henry and I exited the plane and made our way up the jetway, I was in shock over what was happening. I was so sad for Henry because I knew he wanted to go to Disney World. And I was also sad for our family. The trip we were so looking forward to was over before it even started. Once Henry and I were settled back at home, I kept thinking, how could we have prepared Henry better? And how are we ever gonna get him on a plane again? <coughs> the answer was clear. <coughs> we needed the opportunity to practice. I spoke with Jennifer Ryan from the Charles River Center and shared our story. As she listened intently, I could see the wheels turning in her head. She reached out to folks at Boston's Logan Airport and in just six months, the Wings for Autism program was born. The response was amazing. Not surprisingly, there were so many families just like mine who would greatly benefit from an airport test drive. Henry had the opportunity to take part in seven of the 10 events at Logan Airport. It wasn't easy for him, but little by little, he made progress. I'm very happy to say that the program was a huge success for Henry, and a year ago, we were finally ready to attempt a flight. I wasn't certain that we would pull it off because Henry had never been able to buckle his seatbelt during our practice sessions. But with patience and the assistance of a wonderful airport staff who were trained through the Wings for Autism program, Henry sat in his seat and eventually buckled his seatbelt. As the door to the plane closed and we began to pull away from the terminal, my eyes filled with tears. I was overwhelmed with emotion. I felt such gratitude for all involved in helping us get to this point and for all the people who were rooting for Henry in that very moment. Then I looked over at Henry and saw that he was smiling and laughing. And as we took off, he kept repeating, happy prince, happy prince, over and over again. Although this was a line from a Dora episode, I took it to mean that he was one happy guy and felt on top of the world. This program has opened the door to two more successful trips for Henry. The most recent trip was a powerful representation of what the Wings for Autism program has meant to my family. Henry was able to join his many cousins, aunts, uncles, and grandparents to, on a cruise out of Florida to celebrate my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. It was such a special trip, and Henry truly enjoyed himself. Because of the Wings for Autism program, Henry will no longer be left behind when we need to visit family and friends who live far away. He will get to enjoy future vacations and new destinations. He will have more adventures and new experiences, and this means the world to us. Thank you. And I'd like to now introduce Karen wolf Brennigan, who is from the Ark of the United States. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Littlejohn, for sharing your personal story with us today. Your powerful story is, a, is the reason why people like me, and I know everybody in this room, come to work every day. We're so honored to support you and your family. As Mrs. Littlejohn mentioned, the Charles River Center, which is an affiliated chapter of the ARC, uh, is located in Needham, Massachusetts, and they created the Wings for Autism program. Several years ago, they and Massport presented at an airport conference um, and told everybody what they were doing. 
The response from the airports uh, across the country were overwhelming, and many of them rushed up and said, how can I bring this program to our airport? Um, what happened was the Charles River Center really wanted to expand the program. <clears throat> they felt that their focus should be uh, continued in the New England area, and then they came to the Ark of the United States to ask us if we would help bring the program nationwide. And needless to say, as you can imagine, we were very proud to accept. In 2014, we held 11 events throughout the country, and now thanks to the support of the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation, we were able to bring the airport um, Wings for Autism program uh, to even more airports this year. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of our numbers um, in 2015. Uh, we will hold 20 events. Uh, so far we've held 17 and we've got three happening tomorrow. Um, we've been in 17 airports uh, and work with 17 TSA stations throughout the country. Uh, we've worked with six airline carriers and we've hosted these local programs with 26 chapters of the ARC and we're joined by three autism society organizations. These events were attended by 965 people um, on the autism spectrum or folks who have other types of intellectual disabilities, and they're 1,936 family members. We've also had 345 pilots, flight attendants, gate agents, airport personnel, and TSA officers and managers, and also have included um, just over 570 other volunteers who come to the program to help out. And typically these volunteers are people who work for the organizations that are involved or are uh, family members or friends who want to contribute their time. Every WINGS, look at you and I say this, every single WINGS program has attracted media coverage from television, newspaper, or radio stations. So we're really, really excited about that. As part of our program evaluation, the ARC of the U.S. surveys families 12 months following their participation in the WINGS for Autism event. Because obviously we want to know, did you take a trip? And if you did, how did it go? So our numbers are small because we um, survey people 12 months after. So we're looking at most of the people uh, that we reached out to were um, participating in 2014. We contacted 281 uh, families and asked them to complete an online survey. 31 of these families, or 11%, did respond, which is not the greatest rate, but we're hoping to get that up uh, by looking at other ways to contact people next year. Um, of the families that did travel by air, uh, 10 of them, or 32%, said that they had few or no challenges when they traveled. So that was really good. Three or 10% report, uh, reported facing some type of challenge. But out of all the families that did travel, the great news was that nobody reported that, the, that they experienced many challenges. So that was really encouraging. And of the families that had not traveled by air, 10 or 33 percent believed that in the future they would have problems traveling. Um, but 18 or 56 percent felt comfortable that they wouldn't have challenges. And out of uh, the people who had not traveled, 41% did have plans to travel. So again, very encouraging. So we want to thank you, um, a big thank you to the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation for your generous support. Um, this year, as I said, we were able to grow our program. And we've worked with over 3,800 people with disabilities, family members, volunteers, and aviation professionals. And as uh, Susie said, it really is an opportunity the airport, the airline, the families, to see each other in action, ask questions that they wouldn't have the opportunity to ask um, if they were uh, there as a typical passenger. Um, we'd like to thank you so much for inviting us and sharing our story. Um, our goal is pretty lofty. We would love to be in every single airport in the United States of America that has um, commercial service and that's just under 400 airports. So thank you very much.